Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana continues to move in this sideways pattern here. Um, just a quick, um, a quick overview here. We're still in this situation in which it's not entirely clear if the third wave is already finished and the fourth wave has already started. Um, another high in a fifth wave would still be expected, okay? Um, or where the third wave is actually still unfolding. So that's still the question. We'd still like to see another high because I think it would look better. But as I mentioned in the last video, if this move um, on the smaller time frame here, this correction gets too far stretched out also time wise, it will not have the right look anymore for one more high. And really it's about time for it to get moving. So a few things we can do. We can add a trend line here that might, um, you know, provide some additional support. Obviously there are a few touch points there. I just added to indicate where the price could find support should it continue to decline. Um, but really, if a move higher in, you know, there are there are different structures here in both scenarios, short term bullish and short term bearish, where a bounce should really start from here somewhere. And if a bounce starts from here, then this would be I mean, this is the ideal region for it. Okay, so let me explain. Again, short term bearish scenario indicates the third wave has obviously topped this top that formed around the 25th of December. And now we're coming down in the yellow count. I explained that in yesterday's video in very much detail, ABC to the downside to form the first A wave. Then we could now be looking at a B wave. Be aware that when the A wave is a three wave move, the B wave could even technically overshoot. So we always have to be prepared, brace ourselves for an aggressive B wave. But there's only limited evidence that it has started. I mean, there's some green candles, that's that's all. Haven't even broken above a recent high. I'm gonna zoom in in a minute. And then we should get our C wave down, short-term bearish scenario. In the short-term bullish scenario, um, we would still like to see another high. Um, to be fair, it will be probably difficult. If I look at it, it will be difficult to distinguish between the white count and the yellow one if the yellow one is an overshooting B wave. Do you know what I mean? Because in the white count, this is an ending diagonal and we're looking at an ABC structure here in the wave five or three. So if it's um, if it's a high B wave, which would also be an ABC pattern or the wave three in white, it's actually not really different, okay? Yeah, it's difficult. I don't know how we were, we are gonna handle that, but it doesn't really matter because after um, this top anyway, a decline would be um, forecasted in wave C, right? The, the thing, the challenge will be that if it's a high B wave, I don't need to increase the height of the support area. If it's actually a third wave top, which goes higher, I will have to measure the, so, or remeasure or replace basically, or reposition, I should say, um, the support area because, because it's measured against the high of the previous wave. But if it's a B wave, because it's already part of the wave four, I don't need to do it. But you know, that's just the detailed stuff. Don't need to worry about that now. So first of all, let's see if we get a run to the upside anyway. First of all, when a move to the upside starts and you know, ideally it starts from here. I mean, we are now in support. We are um, in Fibonacci support. Okay, so if we measure the FIBs of the last rally here that we had, we are now in the support range key Fibonacci support range for such a pullback. And from here, it would be the ideal spot to start. I mean, if not from here, and if we see a break below $91, the 78.6 retrace of this small rally that ended on Thursday, then probably the trend line will be tested. But if a move from here starts, then we are looking at the descending trend line as next structural resistance. A break above it could take it to, well, these next Fibonacci levels and 110, 116, 87. And uh, that's really the key level. Only a break above 116, 87 would likely send it up to 135, 147, because this is the 78.6 retrace. So it's a very, very important Fibonacci resistance retracement uh, level. Plus it's also the previous B wave high. So that's going to be the main level to overcome to unlock higher prices into the white target region. And to be honest, this white target region is applicable for a high B wave, should we get one, okay, but also for a third wave um, top, okay, and basically a, a, an extended third wave top. 
So ultimately, I'd be watching if a rally starts from here. That would be an ideal spot. Okay, maybe we make another marginally lower low, but um, it, it ideally, you know, we see something from here. Now, I don't have a micro count really for what this is. Um, it looks like a corrective structure, which makes sense as a B wave. Okay, um, but I cannot rule out that whatever's happening here might turn into some kind of a triangle. We have three waves up, three waves down, three waves up. So another low might be coming before we see that rally. Just pay attention uh, if any signals occur. For example, a first signal would be a break above the $97.40 level, this previous high. We need to see a convincing break above that level. That would indicate that at least here, um, the B wave in the yellow count has started. Maybe even um, the pathway to a more extended rally in wave three or even an overshooting B wave. So. Still though, um, and I think that's really that's really key as long as, and I tried to make that very, very clear in the previous videos, um, as long as the movements to the downside remain corrective, it leaves the door open for another high, okay? If we start to see the first impulse to the downside and we haven't seen that yet, then it would indicate we are already coming down in wave C. Okay, that's I think very very important. It's really important to watch for impulses to the downside. Any five wave move to the downside would indicate that a more substantial top has formed and we are indeed in the C wave to the downside. Okay, so I think that's really key. As long as pullbacks are corrective, we can still keep the door open for higher. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.